Hey guys, Ryan McCrum here at Zimbrick Audi of Madison. Today, we are looking at the all new e-tron Quattro. This is the first all electric vehicle that Audi has produced. And we're gonna take a look at why it's so special. So first, let's take a look at the exterior. You'll notice that this car is first and foremost an Audi. There's been talk of Audi going electric. We like to look at it as an electric has gone Audi. So taking a look at the grille, we're gonna notice a couple changes. We have the matte finish chrome border as well as the rings. Now we're also offering these rings in a matte black finish. This is uh, something that we've never done before, but. We're trying to please our fans, so we've, we've added that option on the e-tron. You'll also notice that this top and bottom part is closed. Now, a grill is not essential uh, for an all-electric vehicle. However, we do have this open vent in the middle for air to go through to help reduce that drag coefficient. On this car, it's 0.03, which is pretty impressive for an SUV. The Audi R8 is 0.27, so not much of a difference between the two. Now those vents do close up to a certain speed to help reduce that even further. So you'll notice an all LED matrix style headlight. This was something optional on our other models. It is standard in the e-tron, which is pretty cool. And you'll notice the four strips down here representing Quattro. At least I think so. <laughs> Moving forward, we're gonna have some nice lines on the hood which usually represents where the power is in the car. However, it's a little different with the e-tron. Where that's gonna be noted is really on the sides here, where we have a nice indentation and a black out carbon finish representing where this power is coming from. Now on the bottom of this e-tron lies a 1500 pound twin size bed battery lithium ion, 95 kilowatts of power. So right here on the driver's side of the car, you're gonna find the charging outlet where you will charge the car. So at the touch of a button, this will open very smooth and you'll be able to put the charger which is kept in the, the frunk, which we don't have a motor under this hood. So you're gonna have a nice compartment. We'll take a look at that in a moment. Now you are looking at about eight hours for a full charge on a DC input, which is 240 watts. You can get this installed at your house. This is something that we are also providing, a service from Amazon, having a specialist come out to your house to install one of these charging systems right in your garage. So you can go to bed knowing that your car is gonna be charged in the morning. Now, when you plug this in, you're gonna have a light right here and it's gonna be blinking green, meaning that it's charging, and when it's fully charged, it'll stay solidly green. Now, if you get a yellow or a red light, you will know that there's something uh, disconnected or the charger isn't in all the way, uh, which can easily be fixed. So, when you disconnect the charger, this is automatically gonna shut. Now, I know what you're thinking, what if I get my fingers caught in there? Well, let's try it. So as you can see, it automatically sensed where my fingers were and before applying too much pressure, it opened right back up. So we have our mirrors here, which are heated and power folding. Now, I know what you're thinking. You saw on a commercial somewhere, those nice camera mirrors. Those haven't been legalized in America yet. We're working on that. Uh, and those will be very cool when they come because you're looking at a reduction of, of that coefficient even, even more so lengthening that range. So let's hop into range, shall we? You're looking at about 200, 250 miles on a full charge in the e-tron. Now that's dependent on driver behavior. If you are always flooring it and you have it dynamic mode, uh, which is pretty fun, we call it boost mode, which gives you about eight seconds uh, to really rev up this engine and uh, max those RPMs, which is fun. But as soon as you lift your foot off that power, what's gonna give this car that extended range is the regenerative braking system. So as soon as you lift your foot off, 
these tires will automatically turn that power into more energy for the battery, which is going to be the difference between 2 and 250. If you're a traditional driver, you're not revving it a lot, uh, and you're just getting from A to B, you're looking at about 250 miles, which is pretty incredible. So say you're traveling to Minneapolis to visit family. You had a pretty long trip ahead of you. You might be wondering, will this full charge get me all the way there? Probably not, but no worries, because between here in Minneapolis and Eau Claire, we have a fast charging station. Now this is something that we're trying to implement in cities all around the Midwest and the entire United States. We're calling it Electrify America. Now these fast charging stations will put 150 kilowatts into your charging portal giving you an 80% charge within about 20 to 30 minutes. That's incredible. Now, when you plug in a destination, you're gonna get a blue perimeter around where you are currently on the map. Now that perimeter represents how far your charge will get you, which is very nice because you're gonna be able to plug in coordinates and not only know where you're going, but know where the nearest charging station is so you can go there first and then complete your journey. So let's take a look at the lines on this car. You'll see on the side here, it's got a nice shoulder line coming out from the driver's side door. It's gonna give it that nice wide, low to the ground stability, which you're used to in an Audi, but it's pretty nice when you find that in an SUV. Now, these lines down here, you might think, what do those represent? Something that we really wanted to highlight on this e-tron we wanted to make it known where the power was coming from. You'll notice that this skirt has a black inlay representing where that battery lies. Now this is a 1,500 pound, 95 kilowatt battery. It's about the size of a twin bed and that's what's gonna power you through your driving experience. Now what's very special about this battery is the cooling aspect of it. Audi has relocated this cooling beneath the battery, so in the case of a collision, a very serious one, where that water would normally sit on top, say in a Tesla, it's gonna leak into the battery and that can cause a fire, which is very dangerous uh, in a fender bender. So we've relocated that on the bottom of the battery so that water will just hit the ground and you will stay safe and it won't compromise your battery. So as we make our way around the car, you'll notice the chrome trim around the windows, which is a very classic Audi look as well as these roof rails, which is very cool because just like the Q5 and the Q7, you're gonna be able to put a rack on top and a storage unit. So it's perfect for family use, built for adventure. I know it's very sporty and luxurious, but you can definitely take this out into the country and do what you need to do with it. You can also tow with this car. This car for an electric vehicle has a, a very impressive towing rate at 4,000 pounds. So whatever you can throw at it, most likely it'll be able to take that on. Now moving our way around the back of the car, you'll notice the full LED tailgate lights. It's beautiful. When you turn the car on, the lights will actually come out from the center. When you turn the car off, they'll suck right back in and disappear from the center as well. It's a cool feature animation on this car. Now, you'll also notice the roof line comes out ever so slightly uh, past the window mark, giving it this cool you know, tail fin spoiler on the roof, which then comes down. You have a steep decline and a nice waterfall effect going down the rest of the car. So we're gonna have our power lift gate, which you're used to seeing. Now, as it opens, you're gonna have tabs on either side that you can pull, folding those back seats forward. Uh, now, also, there's gonna be some cool accessories coming along with this car, such as this net and the four points of connection that you can really strap down anything that you've bought uh, that you want to not move, say your dog, um, joking. Uh, but you're gonna have a tremendous amount of storage room once those seats are down. So again, once those seats are folded down, you're gonna have a tremendous amount of storage, very similar to the Q5 and what you've seen in the Q7 as well with your privacy cover that you can pull and 
make sure nothing is seen under there. If you have a present, uh, you're showing up to a birthday party, whatever. Now, at the push of a button, it'll lower. So, let's take a look at the inside of the car. So here we are in the back seat. You'll notice I have plenty of room. I'm six foot two and I'm very comfortable back here. Now, even if someone was larger, there's a raised roof where your head goes and plenty of leg room uh, as well. So you'll also notice that this car has a four zone climate control. At the tip of my fingers, I can scroll all the way below 60 degrees up to above 80, as well as control the fan speed so each person can be comfortable in their own climate. You'll also notice on this electric vehicle, there's no drive shaft anymore, eliminating that hump that you usually get in the middle seat, so no more sitting anymore. Everyone's gonna be comfortable. You're also, if there is just two people back here, you have your armrest, a storage compartment for your phone, and you can push and have two cup holders as well. Okay, so here we are in the front seat of the car. I'm very excited. Uh, it feels great. The whole contouring of the seat uh, is just that of any other Audi that you've sat in. Now, the, the MMI system on here is going to be pretty much what you've seen in the Q8 along with the, the 19A8, 7, and 6 with the dual screens. Uh, the bottom screen here, you're going to find your temperature and fan speed controls, which just like in the back, you're going to be able to glide your finger and adjust that very easily. Uh, and then on the very bottom strip, you're gonna find your heat seating and heat ventilation uh, buttons as well as AC. Uh, we actually have a perfume button uh, in this car and I, I call them buttons because we have this haptic feedback on here that makes uh, the touch screen look uh, and feel just like a button. So that is gonna release a fragrance in this car from time to time whenever you'd like it to. We have summer and winter fragrance, uh, whichever one fits your, your personality. So looking at the top screen is the main MMI with all your different menus, such as navigation, settings, vehicle, which uh, brings you to the drive select, which is very cool on this car. Just like our other models, you're gonna be able to go into dynamic mode, comfort mode, you can individualize it. So you want a dynamic steering wheel uh, while keeping that comfort in the suspension. This car does have uh, an automatic air suspension, so it's gonna be able to lift up in comfort, lower in dynamic, it's very cool. So as you swipe your finger to the next page, you'll find uh, some other menu options, such as weather, you can get the weekly forecast, uh, even a radar to see what's ahead, media when you're selecting, uh, Bluetooth play when you connect your phone, uh, that'll also enable Apple CarPlay, which will add some more apps on here, and you could page through uh, further as well. Now we do have a user profile page. Uh, you could fit up to six profiles on this car. That is really cool when you're uh, switching off between, you know, uh, you driving the car, your friend driving the car, you know, another family member. Uh, everyone can kind of customize where their seat position is what these cool LED running lights around the car that you see, what color those are. We have a whole spectrum of color options uh, for both those and these accent lights that you'll find uh, by the door and down by the, uh, the compartment here. Now, what's really cool about this system here is how sophisticated the voice recognition is. Now, I can tell the car who I'd like to speak to on my phone, or I can just mention the fact that, hey, I'm in the mood for pizza, or I'm in the mood for this, and it'll give me all the options I need right on the screen, uh, and it really gets to know your voice. Uh, specifically, anyone can give a command, but once you get into this car, it'll, it'll be accustomed to your voice, and it'll be able to communicate uh, with you and, and help you with anything you need. So aside from that, another big change on the e-tron is the gear shifter. Now looking at this, it, it sort of pays homage to the gear shifter in, in the A8 where you can rest your wrist right on top and that kind of 
makes it more comfortable when adjusting your temperature, fans, fan speed, and so forth. Now this doesn't move. The actual gear shifter is an electronic, sort of a toggling motion where you just nudge it up for reverse, nudge it back to get into drive, and then the side button uh, that says P, that puts the vehicle in the park. Now we also have a parking brake that you can pull up on, just like you're, you're pulling up the emergency brake. Now, just like pushing it back down, you have to push the, your foot on the brake and then push the button down, that releases the parking brake. Very important if you wanna go anywhere. Now, looking forward, we have our virtual cockpit. Now we've seen this in uh, a number of our 18s, uh, as well as 19s. Now that was available with those models in this e-tron, it does come standard, which is really cool. You'll be able to switch views, so whether you want your RPMs and uh, speedometer large and in charge, you can minimize that. That frees up a whole lot of space to give you more information on how far your, your charge uh, has gone. Um, you know, you have your trip information. I could scroll down using this wheel here on the left. I could keep track of what my consumption is. I can keep track of short-term and long-term memory for trip distance, uh, as well as uh, an active uh, view of what my driver assist is doing as far as lane keeping assist. Uh, you'll see the two lanes uh, with the car in the middle. Now that'll also project in the windshield because this car has a head-up display. Now that's available in Prestige, which we're in, but is very cool uh, looking straight ahead and being able to see not only your miles per hour, but knowing that your active lane keeping assist is engaged as well as different directions that are uh, notifying you along the way. If you have something plugged into the GPS, you're gonna find out about it looking straight ahead. So that's not only cool, but very safe. Now, if you change it all the way over to the right, you'll find uh, the arrow that symbolizes navigation, um, which is really cool because it puts everything in front of you right there. You don't have to look down to your right to see uh, where you're going on the map anymore. It's all right ahead of you. And if you have a head-up display, it's even above that. So we're all about keeping eyes on the road and helping the driver uh, stay safe on the road and get to where they need to be as quickly as possible. So other than that, you can see, obviously, there has been some design changes. We have a nice, beautiful uh, dark brown walnut wood inlay on top here, uh, which is gonna be similar to our, our A6. Uh, the shape is a little different. It contours towards the driver, so everything is kind of catered this way uh, while still giving the passenger uh, an engaging view of what's going on. Uh, you'll notice that we have right here our e-tron badge right above uh, the passenger glove box, which looks really sharp, uh, and at night that does light up, so it's going to be a very aesthetically pleasing in here. Uh, it's going to be beautiful with the lights, and uh, all the fit and finishes on this car are pristine. We have Napa leather up here on top of the dash, as well as this nice Volcano leather uh, in this seating package. So uh, everything about this car is well thought out, sporty, sophisticated, and uh, most of all safe and green. Another cool feature for this e-tron are the door handles. Now you'll notice we have the nice Alcantara on the side, uh, as well as the power folding and heated mirrors. But one thing about this door handle is it's electric. So all you have to do is give it a little pull and the door will automatically pop open. It's not a manual lever that releases anymore. It's an electronic automatic popping open of the door. And on prestige models, if you've ever not closed a car door all the way, now I'm getting a little too good at it. Hear that click, the door shut on its own. So no more correcting yourself, the car will take care of it as well. Now up here, uh, you'll have your standard controls, such as your, your reading lights, 
LED lights, uh, which are very focused. You're not gonna have this washed out light anymore driving at nighttime when you just cannot see ahead of you and when if someone's reading a book. Uh, it's very focused and direct to, to um, uh, where the spotlight is headed. So you can have someone right next to you reading a, a novel with their light on and it's not gonna distract uh, you from the road. So that's very special. Oh yeah, and not to mention, panoramic sunroof. Very cool, stretches all the way to the back. Kind of makes it seem like a convertible. Okay, so I popped the hood. Now, as you can see, there's no engine in here. Why would there be? It's beneath the car. But there is what we call a frunk. It's kind of a front trunk. Now, right now, we have our charging cables in here. Obviously, you can put those in the back and put a, a small backpack, any, any small personal items that you might have in here. Now, it's not too large, but there's also a false bottom in here, uh, which kind of houses uh, your, your wrench for fixing a flat tire and so forth. You can take that out, and that's gonna sink this down about another foot, uh, giving you a lot of room to put uh, anything you need there if you're camping and you're going out into the country and you wanna you know, put a picnic basket in there by all means. Okay guys, thank you for tuning in on our overview of the all new Audi e-tron Quattro. If you'd like to learn more, the links are in the description. Make sure to follow our YouTube list. We have a bunch of other vehicles to show you and don't forget to like us on Facebook and come stop by our dealership here at Zembrick Audi of Madison.